Hello guys, Xbox Gamer 207 here, back with finally the second part of the review. Um, on the last part, we went through all the accessories and the console itself, we reviewed all of that. Now we're reviewing the thing within the console, all the cool stuff. And yes, again, I know my brightness, the camera sucks, I'm sorry, but... I don't have a good camera, alright? Well, now we will continue. Turn up the volume a little bit. I'm impatient to eat it. Oh, hold on. Uh, turn up a little bit more. No problem. That should be loud enough. Alright. I'm sorry if my voice sounds different or my nose is like stuffed. I have like, a little bit of a cold. So sorry if I sniffle a lot throughout the video. I already know the review. Alright. Anyways, continuing on. We're gonna continue um part two of this review. Starting with the going to the memory part of the system. Once you go in here, you'll see um it shows a CGI picture of the console. Looks better than the regular screen with this camera, but and then you'll hear the weird electronic beeps and weird sound effects that you get on the console. Which is actually cool. But anyways, uh, there you have your total, I guess, space. It says Xbox hard disk total. It's like 50,000 plus blocks and available 50,000 plus blocks. Alright, we will continue. Well, I don't have any of these games, like Big Mother Truckers. These must have been, um, some of these games must have been, uh, just, n the memory from them must have been just, like, never erased. But I have Burnout 2, I have Chase, I have Chessmaster, I don't have that, don't have that. That's a lot saved there. Now see, this I can delete. Feeding Frizzy? Huh. Let's see, there's a lot of So yeah, there's a lot of games. I mean, I bought this from someone else, so they did not delete all their other games' uh, data. No, all the other data is still on here. Wow, there is so much I gotta delete on here, but anyways, here's where all your memory would be. Yeah, all your memory from each game you ever played to get saved onto the Xbox, what they call the hard disk. Alright, oh, I think we're done looking at that. CGI Xbox! CGI! CGI? Now we'll go to the music portion. Let's go to audio CD, play or copy it from another one, or, excuse me, copy tracks from this audio CD to a soundtrack. What does this have? Nothing! My sister had an audio CD put on here, but uh, I deleted all the songs because now the Xbox is pretty much mine, and I don't listen to these songs, so they're all gone. I gotta put new ones on here. Xbox Live. Well, my neighbor must have had uh, who I bought it for must have had an account, I guess, but hit new account. Uh, you will see the original. Xbox Live screen. Yeah, I know the camera's a little crappy, but I'll read it, what that says in the box. Welcome to Xbox Live. Open to the future of gaming. You are about to subscribe to Xbox Live. Xbox Live uses security technology to help safeguard your info. You have an Xbox Live subscription code and high speed error service. Please continue. Otherwise, see www.xbox.com slash connect or a local Xbox retail. Well, um, I'm not sure if Xbox Live actually works with the original Xbox systems anymore. That I don't know. And Xbox Live, I do not plan on subscribing to them anytime soon. I'll probably have to get 360 to do that, but still. Because I know you have to pay, and that really sucks. At least with the PlayStation Network, you don't. <sighs> Excuse me, which reminds me, my next video is going to be something different. Kind of like a, you would see like a YouTube commentary, sort of like that, but I'm going to be talking over, doing narration over stuff for a special video 
of which one is better, PlayStation or Xbox. Alright, but let's just hit continue. Want to troubleshoot your network? Let's just do it. You have to do like a bunch of cables with any crap, so I'm not going to do that, obviously. Wait, what was that one thing? I want to see this, wait. And you would go to settings to pencil in all your stuff, but we're not doing that. Now we're exiting that. Alright. And the last thing on here is settings. Here's your clock settings. Your time zone, your daylight savings. Yeah, you always want daylight savings. Here we are on May 30th, 2012, 135 p. Yeah, it's time. And also there's your time zone. Let's just see. Here's all their big time zone lists. Okay, that's a lot of time zones. Damn, that is a lot of freaking time zones. Alright. I think we're done with that. I actually got your language settings. You got your English settings. Your... Just Japanese, Dutch... I think that's Dutch, yeah. French, Spanish, Italian, some weird language, some weird Asian language, port and Portuguese. Those are all your languages. Audio! You got your stereo, or mono, or Dolby surround sound. I have no idea what this is set to, so I'm not going to screw around with it. Video. Normal letterbox. Let's just look at a letterbox. No, wait a minute. I think that's just for the game. But uh, no, we do not want widescreen or letterbox. We just want normal, normal settings. Nice network settings. That I think it'll just be the same crap. So auto sign in, uh, parental control. These are your parental control settings for a movie. So you can set it to G. And 2 and 3 is PG, 4 is PG 13, and you go to 5, 6 is R, C, I mean 7 is NC, 17 and 8 is like ever, it's like probably like adults only basically, I would say. In games, you can set them to what setting? Early childhood, kids to adults, everyone, teen, mature, adults only, or rate pending. System info. This just gives you some info about the system. Alright, that's just about that's just info, so we can go back. And that's it. Oh, just a little bit tour of the inside scoop on the Xbox. So this uh, part two of the review is almost over, but not quite. Just give me a sec. Stare at the Xbox screen momentarily. Oh, just give me a minute. background noise. Um. Sorry if you heard any of that. Hold on. Sorry about all that. Huh. I apologize for any background noise for anything that fell. Now, 
I'm gonna show you some more stuff. Let's beef up the brightness a little bit. Yeah, hold on. Let's bring up some more brightness. A little bit better. And now, so here's a few more um, accessories. Here is um, a little bit of an AV cable. I believe this is for the Xbox. I'm not sure where you plug this into. Let's see. It's an AV output cable. I don't think this is actually for the Xbox, but. This is for some good use, I would say. Alright, uh... Here is another cable. Um, I'm not sure what this is for, but I know it came with the Xbox. Now, I do have an adapter to it, but I don't know what I did with it. It should be in my uh, TV stand way back. I think, uh, 